Hi, I'm Nicolene Peck, and I own a business called Teaching Self-Government, where I teach parenting all over the world. I also am the president of an international nonprofit. I consult at the United Nations and in Congresses and stuff all around the world. And there is something that I know about business success that I want to share with you today in this video called The Not-So-Known Secret to Business Success. <laughs> There's a lot of business advice out there, but I would like to share with you something unique today, a piece of the conversation that is definitely missing. In fact, business leaders come to me from all over the world for this information, and it actually relates to what is happening in your house, not necessarily what is happening in your office. So we're gonna be talking about success in your office, success in your home life, how those two things relate together, and what you can do to have maximum success success at both. I recently attended a mastermind with some of the top YouTubers in the nation and we were discussing what we teach and trying to share ideas with each other. So in the middle of some of the discussion, I said, I don't think you guys recognize how much what I teach will help make you money. And they said, what do you mean, Nicolene? You teach parenting and relationships. I mean, I know that can help with relationships at the office. And I said, no, even more than that. Of course, it can help with relationships at the office because the principles of relationship development and good communication that I teach aren't just usable in the home, but they are principles. So that means they're broadly applicable and that means they can be used in the office or business environment as well. But even more than that, I said, do you realize that when people succeed in their family life, when they have good relationships with their spouse and with their children, when they have good communication at home that actually affects their bottom line, when people are communicating well and bonding well at home, their brains are free from a lot of that emotional clutter that can get in the way of work, from those phone calls that can take away time from some of the business time that you need to be putting in. Those things at home can distract the business life unlike anything else else. They can make you feel burdened. They can increase your stress level. You cannot even know why you're stressing. You can be at the office trying to focus on office work and feeling stressed and not knowing why. And it's because all of the underlying stuff that's happening at home that you've not sorted out yet, that you're trying to figure out how to deal with in those little corners of your brain. So if you can fix your relationships with your family at home, if you can get that smooth smoothly running, then everything in your business life improves. And this includes how much money hits the bank. So when I shared this with this group of YouTubers, people stopped and they said, Nicolene, you need a video on that. Why is there not a video on that on YouTube? I would watch it tons of times because everyone needs to understand this. I've never thought of it before. And you're right. I started sharing with them some of the key things that they could do to change relationships at their house that would make a huge difference in their businesses. And quite frankly, they were mind blown and they were like, you have to promise us, you will make a video on that. So that's what I'm doing today, making a video on how I parent as a business leader, YouTube influencer, and how this can help you in your business life, as well as in your just overall well-being. Now I'm going to be giving away a free book at the end of this video, so stick with me to the end. But before I do that, we are going to be talking about some of these keys that you need to be utilizing in your home life that will make such a big difference. So I want you to take a minute and just think, what is that family drama that could potentially get in the way or maybe does already get in the way of your business success? 
Is it not being on the same page about things with your spouse? Is it the spouse nagging at you for something? Is it the children whining and complaining about things? Or maybe not opening up with you when you're ready to open up with them and talk with them about things that are meaningful. And so then you might feel a sense of a distance in your relationship. Or do you feel like maybe you don't have enough time bonding with your child and having that, that just free connective play time that's happening. So no matter what the issues are, you want to be thinking ahead of the game. So in business, we're proactive, right? We think, where are we going? What could be coming down the line? And how can we prepare for what's coming down the line? In fact, when we see new trends hit society, we try to match our business to those trends. When we see problems hitting like war, or we see people having, you know, a new you know, idea or a social thought change that's ha hitting society, we try to address it in our businesses, don't we? So that we can stay relevant, we can stay connected to the people. Well, we definitely need to be thinking in terms of all of those things when it relates to our family lives too. What do we want to accomplish in family life? Where are we going there? Have we made the same types of plans for our family life as we have for our business? One time I was doing a training. I do these three day trainings for couples. They're called parenting mastery trainings. They are like the intensive boot camp for the teaching self-government parenting model that I teach. One time I was doing one of these trainings and there was a guy there with his wife and he was, you know, basically retired ish. He owned a whole bunch of businesses and he had started a bunch of them from the ground up, sold them off or got them moving on on their own. And he had this business mind that was genius. And I said to him, Hey, we need to make a plan for where we're going as a family. We need to make something called a family vision. I started talking about family visions, family mission statements. And all of a sudden he just had sparks fly in his head. And he was a, he was a father of 12 children. And he said, Nicolene, why have I never done this for my family? I've realized now as I'm sitting in this training that the most important business venture that I will ever have is actually within the walls of my own home. It's my family. And I've never taken the time to make a full on business plan for my family. I've never made a vision for my family that's going to work. I've never made a mission statement for my group, for my family. Yet I would never create a business without those things. Holy cow, he said, how have I never thought of just even this one thing? And that is just one thing that I teach in my teaching self-government business or not business training, but parenting training. And this was revolutionary for this man. In fact, for many, many business leaders around the world, many who I can't necessarily mention uh, because I don't have their permission to do so. They have taken this information and it has been eye opening and transformational for their families and for their businesses. In fact, many business owners. There was a prominent attorney in the Vegas area who had me come and visit his home and do an in-home visit with his family. After that, he said, Holy cow, Nicolene, I can't believe that some of the solutions to my home problems and my office problems were right here in this parenting training. I wouldn't have thought that I could have solved both sides of the equation with the same principles. He's like, can you come to my office and train my staff on how to do this so that we can properly communicate like I've now learned to do at home? And I said, yeah, sure. So what I'm going to be teaching in this video is going to help you not only in your home life, but should help you with your colleagues and employees, the people that you're working with in business as well. So as you might have guessed, the first thing that we need to understand is where we're going. This means that you need to understand the basic fundamental principle of what I teach, and that is the principle of self-government. Self-government is being able to determine the cause and effect of any given situation and possessing a knowledge of your own behaviors so that you can control them. So what that means is that you understand where you're headed and what you need to do to get there.
there. You understand cause and effect, or at least you make your very best guess based on the information that you have. And then you assess yourself, your behaviors, or in the case of your business, you would be assessing your business, your business conduct and behaviors. And you would be saying, how are we doing at getting close to the mark that we want to hit? If we're missing the mark, we're going to refocus in, find the pieces that we've missed, and we're going to keep course correcting until we get right on the mark. Well, we're going to do the same thing in our families. We're going to teach our families the things that they need to know to hit the mark that we're headed for. Do you realize that the highest level of communication is to talk about what you're going to do or what you're going to communicate like before you actually do that communication or take that action? That is highest level communication. The most successful people know this. They intuitively do this in their businesses and in their homes. So we need to apply that principle to our families by creating a special 20 year vision or possibly 10 year vision, depending on the age group of your children for what we want to become as a family. As soon as we did this in our family, this changed our trajectory. We had already been applying key principles and skills for how to communicate, which I'm going to be talking about later. But once we brought in that vision and we discussed the vision regularly, we brought the family back back to that when we had meetings together as a group, that made the shift for the group. Everyone had emotional and personal buy-in. That's what the family vision gives you. In my book, Parenting a House United, I talk about how to create a really great family vision. And this family vision can also be a business vision, right? Sometimes we do at-home businesses. The teaching self-government business started as an at-home family business. So what we were doing in the business also related to who we were as a family. And so that's why all of the principles started passing from one side to the other. And I recognized my business was booming and growing because I was running it like I was running my family. But what a lot of people didn't understand is that they need to run their family like they run their business. Not meaning that you fire the children because you can't fire them, right? So what do you do instead? You have to do that development that teaching and what does that teaching look like all right we need to get to some of these skills and I want to give you that free book offer as well but before we do subscribe to this channel this channel is all about self-government It's all about fixing your family relationships and like I said the principles are principles that means they're broadly applicable so you're gonna be able to apply the principles to your business relationships and communications as well so subscribe now so I've talked about this book, Parenting a House United. We're going to tell you how to get this thing for free. But before I do that, let's talk about some of the key things that are in the book. So number one, how to create the family vision, that 20 year vision that you're going to want. Number two, how you're going to communicate in a way that keeps everybody bonded together. Now, in order to create an environment where a person learns self-government, it takes a certain type of a tone and a certain type of a structure. So the tone is the way that you feel, the way that the words come across and how they hit the hearts and the minds of the people. And then there's this structure, this predictable element so that people can understand and learn cause and effect. They can see when things have gone well, which means there's going to be a lot of praising and telling people when they have done things well, but then there's going to be the element of correction. How do we do correction without tearing the people down? How do we do correction and bring the hearts together? Because you should feel closer to your child during and after a correction than you even did before. So that is all discussed in the book, as well as how to have good meetings as a family, which is going to help you honestly with your business meetings as well. So we could talk about all of these things, the tone, the meetings, the skills, but what I'd like to discuss right now are some of those skills that are going to help you as the parent helping your children learn to govern themselves. Doesn't that sound great? Don't we want that for our employees? Well, we want that for our children to do. We want them to know how to see something that needs to be done and get it done, right? Well, here's the thing. With children, their prefrontal cortexes, that front part of the brain, are slowly developing over time. And that prefrontal cortex isn't fully developed until a person hits about their mid-20s, which means they are going to need a little bit of guidance all the way along until that fully develops in their mind. So 
What do we do to help them learn how to communicate with us so that they can have good development? Well, I suggest teaching what I call four basic skills. Now, there are many skills that you could teach your children. In fact, as you learn how to teach your children self-government, I can teach you the formula of how to create any skill for your child. But these four basic skills really do take care of almost all of the behaviors that you're gonna find yourself confronting as a child. But really these four basic skills take care of 99% of all the behaviors you're gonna encounter as a parent, and they're gonna help your children navigate almost all of the behaviors that they're trying to fix within themselves. And I know this because years ago I did treatment foster care for troubled teens, and I taught them these four basic skills, and literally they had behaviors I didn't even know existed, but these four basic skills almost always applied to helping them be able to conquer or those behaviors that were troubling to them as well. So what are these four basic skills? If we were doing a regular parenting training, I would show you these four books and I would explain that the four basic skills are taught to children in these four books. So using these four books with your children is going to help. These four books teach following instructions, accepting no answers and criticism, accepting consequences, and disagreeing appropriately. So understanding those four basic skills will actually help your children communicate with you, decrease their anxiety, and it will help you understand what to correct. Each one of the four basic skills has skill steps. So for instance, to follow instructions, there are five things that a person does. They look at the person, keep a calm face, voice, and body, say okay or ask to disagree appropriately, do the task immediately, and then check back. Now, if you teach all of the steps associated with all of the different skills, then you can pinpoint exactly where the child needs to create a fix. You can also help them understand how to do the proper communication right at the beginning. So often we talk to our child about being obedient or being disobedient or just get things done or how come you don't help out? All of those kinds of things that we bring up to the child when really they just need to learn how to follow instruction. Are they saying that they will do it but not actually doing it, then they're not doing the task immediately and checking back. And those would be the pieces of the skill that you would fix and work on. Or do they go to do it but they roll their eyes along the way and say whatever or fine, then they're not keeping a calm face or a calm voice and body. So then you would correct and work on the calm face, voice and body. So see, it helps you narrow in narrow down. Yep. So see, it helps you narrow down what pieces they actually need the most help with and helps them be empowered by learning every step to the skill. This is going to make it so that your corrections don't have to be personal attacks either. Sometimes when we get frustrated because a child hasn't followed an instruction, we start taking things personally, get emotional, and then they start taking things personally. That is the recipe for power struggle. Now, obviously we don't wanna be power struggling with our children. This means that we have to proactively pre-teach all of these skills ahead of time. We also need to have a way to check up on if we're using the skills properly or not. So this is when our family gets together and has family meetings. We will have a meeting where we talk about how we're doing at becoming the type of family that we want to be and what are some key areas that we've noticed that we can focus on fixing. So maybe we're doing good at following instructions just generally, but nobody's taking their dish over after dinner. Well, that actually means that they're not following instructions if I've told them, hey, after dinner, you need to take your dishes over. So why might people not be taking their dishes over? Well, number one, they might not have recognized that that was an instruction and I might need to bring that to their attention and we can discuss how to handle that in a family meeting. Another thing is I might not be correcting it. I might just be letting it go. That means I'm keeping my tolerances too high. If my tolerances are too high, my children are going to push and push and push. This is what we call working the system. So I have to keep my tolerances low, which means I've got to correct more things. This is the same thing in business, right? You don't let a, a an employee come in late to work every single day. That would be having your tolerances way too high. Your productivity as an entire group would go down if you kept your tolerances that high. They have to come in on time, otherwise they lose their job. 
That's keeping the tolerances low. Well, you have to do the same thing in your parenting. I know sometimes after a busy day of work, we don't wanna have low tolerances at home too, but I can promise you something. If you keep your tolerances low at home and you correct more, soon you won't have to correct as often. That's just how it goes. So the more we praise, pre-teach, correct, follow up, have meetings, learn skills at home, the more we do all of those self-government things, the less things we have to correct. So just like when you have a business there's a loaded front end where you set it all up and then finally you get to a point where it's smooth sailing the same thing's gonna happen in your home it'll be a little bit more work at first but in the end you will always be grateful that you put in that time so that your family could better support you in your business you can be there for your family bonding with them having more connection with them instead of power struggling with them all the time now about that free gift that I said for you remember this book parenting a house United well I want to give it to you for free plus the shipping cost. So if you just click in the description below this video, there's a link there to the free book and you can get it free plus just a little bit of shipping to wherever you happen to be. So start reading this now and I promise you, you'll get all the things you need to help your family get on the fast track to success, which will help your business be there too.